Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, we're focusing on how you can boost your frame rate using nothing but console commands and Ark Survival Ascended. Let's get stuck into the video. Now, if you don't have time to watch, just check the description to the link to my code bin. We can just copy and paste my optimal settings for the average rig. So before we go ahead, I'm gonna be sharing the frame rate in the top right of the screen so you guys can see a live update of how these console commands are affecting the frame rate of the game. All right, for lighting, we're going to do r.lumen.screenprobegather.radiancecache.probe.resolution. Set that value to 16. r.dynamic global illumination method to 2. r.lumen.diffuse indirect.allow. Set that to 0. For visual effects, we're going to do r.volumetric cloud r.fog, r.volumetric fog, r.bloom quality, and r.light shafts, and we're going to set all those values to zero. For shadows and textures, we're going to do r.shadow quality, r.contact shadows, r.lumen.reflections.allow, r.water.single layer.reflections, and set all those to zero. Now, this is where we start getting to that iffy area where it doesn't look like a Unreal Engine 5 game. Okay, and last but not least, this is a set of commands that needs to be actually removed from console altogether. We're gonna do wp.runtime.update streaming source and set that to zero. And then we're gonna do wp.runtime.hlod and set that to zero. It basically doesn't spawn anything in. You can fly through structures, you can fly through where the trees used to be. All you see is the landscape, the default mesh with some color and all the wilds. Now, if this was PvP, you'd see anybody hiding in the grass. There's no structures to, to cover them at all. And this needs to be removed from PvP and from console commands altogether. So what's the best settings? For me, it's always about quality over quantity. I want to be immersed in the game. I want that graphical and visual effect and for me because of my rig i can run the game at its default state at epic settings i don't mind losing some frames to that now a lot of people can't do that so i would highly recommend that you know you find that sweet spot for your rig that works well for you um, and what most people have found is just using the the visual effects that i shared at the start of the video volumetric cloud volumetric fog and fog and setting those to zero is more than enough for most people and their rigs to get a better performance out of the game. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of volumetric cloud, volumetric fog and fog turned on versus having those values set off. As you can see, there is a noticeable change in frame rate, but it really comes down to what you want to do with your rig and the performance that you're trying to get out of your game. Well guys, hopefully these console commands have helped you in some way. Whether you're doing boss fights or you're just cruising around Redwoods looking for a Titan to slay, hopefully these console commands can help you get the most out of your game and experience. I am curious to know what people are averaging with the rig that they have. So if don't mind sharing, leave me a comment, let me know what setup you have and what average frame rate you're getting. Very interested to know because in my personal opinion, a dinosaur game on Unreal Engine 5 should not require the latest 40 series card to run at an optimal rate. Anyways guys, that is it for this week. As always, thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.